You gotta jump it, music master. You gotta play that rhythm faster. You're never gonna get it played on the happy cat. Even if the name of this uh, vlog, blog, whatever, is um, 78 RPM blog, and it all started as a blog about 78 RPM records back in 2005, and then turned into this vlog. Well, <clears throat> even if that is the case, very few artists from the 78 RPM era has uh, managed to squeeze into the list. Um, I'm not going to tell you how many, but there aren't many of them, but it's time for one of them now. When it was time to wrap up the 20th century, many newspapers printed lists of all sorts. And I remember that one of the lists I saw was a list over the best popular music composers of the 20th century. And what annoyed me was that no composer who was active before the 1960s was on the list, which shows that the pure ignorance of the reporter. It's my firm opinion that when it comes to composing popular music, the best one was the man on number 40, Hoagie Carmichael. He wrote some of the best songs of the 1920s, 30s and 40s. Songs that are still played and admired to this date. All right, time for me to mention songs here. Stardust. Skylark, Georgia on my mind, Washboard Blues, The Old Music Master, Riverboat Shuffle, Rockin' Chair, Lazy River, Lazy Bones, One Morning in May, Little Old Lady, Two Sleepy People, Hong Kong Blues, ba Baltimore Oriole, Old Buttermilk Sky, In the Cool 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 of the Evening, and probably, probably the best love song ever written, The Nearness of You. You can't top that, can you? And seriously, I don't think any composer after that can top it. He may not have been that special as a musician or vocalist, but he made songs that are still being interpreted today. Enough said. <laughs> 